Good morning, Danny gang. Welcome back to our channel. So y'all, today we are filming another What I Eat in a Freaking Day. But before we start filming that, I want y'all to know that I'm now such new members of the Danny gang. So if you want to be a member of the gang because you're keto or because you just like me or because you like books or for whatever reason, go ahead, press like, press subscribe, hit the bell and put your fists up because you got to fight me. Once you fight me and you jumped in, you're a lifetime member period so let's get into the video all right gang so the first thing that we are going to have is something new i'm going to be making a keto smoothie so you guys know um strawberries blackberries blueberries and raspberries for the most part are keto approved fruits so i just have this bag of frozen fruit from walmart this is literally all i have um so i'm going to use this Plus, I'm going to use some of this unsweet almond milk. And then I think I'm going to put a scoop of protein in it. So, yeah, we're just about to blend this up and make us a little breakfast smoothie before we get the day started. So, let's get into it. loosen it up because it's really thick this would be good for like an acai bowl but i'm just gonna add a little bit more almond milk and then i'm gonna put the top back on it we're gonna re-blend consistency oh that looks so good the color is so pretty so basically i just use blueberries strawberry raspberries and blackberries a scoop of protein powder to make sure i get my protein in and um unsweet vanilla almond milk you can use regular almond milk i had both i just want a little more flavor so this is what it looks like we're about to put it in a glass and yeah it should be really good like i said you could even use this as your base of an acai bowl but um I would have added like in some spinach or whatever, but I just don't have any of that. And I want to go ahead and use what I have. So, yep, this is how it came out. Okay, gang, so yeah, this is what it looks like. And y'all see, that was an easy, quick breakfast. It literally took me like a second to make. Um, mm, mm. All right, gang, so now we are out the house for a minute. So y'all, I got a couple stops and runs that I need to make. So y'all, if y'all watched the video over the weekend, then y'all saw that I went to the post office and tried to pick up the items out of my P.O. box. So we're about to go pick up my items from my P.O. box. And yeah, I'm super excited to see what's in there. I got a relatively small P.O. box, so I can't even sit here and be like, yeah, cuz I got so much stuff in there. I got a small P.O. box because I wasn't sure um how many of you guys or how many companies would be sending me things so i could just have one thing in there it could just be big i don't know <laughs> but we're about to go to my p.o box and pick that stuff up and then i want to run to the grocery store like Publix or something because y'all i'm gonna actually attempt to make like either rutabaga fries jamaica fries turnip fries i want some type of fries to go with my keto chicken strips tonight 
So yeah, I looked up recipes and the best thing to use is Jamaica, but I haven't been able to find it like at Walmart and stuff. So I thought maybe I should go to like an actual grocery store like Publix or Kroger or whatever. But anyway, this is my makeup. Y'all already know my everyday face. I really, really miss football. And if y'all know I'm a football girl, I love the Green Bay Packers. Um, so I do miss football. <sighs> Y'all, it's so gloomy and just ugly out. It's ruining my little mood, child. Ruining my mood. I like when it's sunny out. It's gloomy, but it's hot as crap. It's like 80 something degrees. So yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we're just about to run to the P.O. box, to the grocery store, and then I'm going to come back on home um, because I'm doing some work and all that. And yeah. All right. I'll see y'all at the P.O. box to get our stuff for real this time. Y'all, I don't know what it is with this freaking P.O. box. I don't know if somebody sent me gold, if somebody got a curse on me, <laughs> but I came to the post office to get my stuff and they're closed. It's Monday, Monday, and I wanted to run in and get my stuff. They don't open to 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna have to come back. <sighs> they were, they're open from 12 to 4.30, uh, Monday through Friday now, throughout the quarantine or whatever, so child, we are gonna have to come back. So let's go to the store and then hopefully by the time I'm done with the store and I'm on my way back home, they'll be open. So I'll just keep y'all updated. I just want to get my stuff on my P.O. box. That's it. Period. My previous vlog, I was like, yeah, Burlington got everything 50% off. So this is another Burlington because y'all know I live in Atlanta. So it's like hella one thing everywhere. Hella Walmarts, hella Burlingtons, hella Hobby Lobbies. This is a different Burlington. Y'all look at this line. I mean, it's not hot today, so I guess it's worth it. I mean, everything 50% off, so I guess it's worth it, but damn. Jeez Louise, child. Now, what's this line over here? They got two lines. I was coming in here to waste some time to see if I could, you know, get closer to 12 o'clock so I could get my mail. This a whole nother line, child. Is it that serious? Are y'all shopping at Burlington? Y'all doing this? Oh no, this is for another store, child. So that was the Burlington. Oh, this the tag office. I know you lying. So this line was for the tag office, y'all. Look at all these folks trying to get in the tag office. You know what? Mm -hmm. Child, there's too many people trying to get in this dang on tag office. Oh, this is, oh, child, this is sad, honey. I'm glad I don't need to go in here just yet. My birthday is in July, so I will, but yeah, it's too many people. I'm finna get from up over here, honey. But yeah, I just have to come show y'all the lines. All right, gang, so what we gonna do is run in Sam's Club. Y'all know I'm a member of Sam's. I rarely ever go in here because um, I live alone. Well, I don't live alone, but you know, I just shop for myself. So I never really have to do grocery shopping here. But since I got a little time to wait before the post office open and there's no line, we're just gonna go walk around Sam's, see if I see some stuff. I'm gonna look like on Instagram because I know sometimes people be posting like keto at Costco, keto at Sam's. So let's just go walk around and see. I got my mask on, my AirPods in, I got gloves and my wallet. So let's go. y'all so i made it back from running errands um i made it back from doing everything i had to do once i got home i had to work a little bit um on some personal things and now i'm about to have lunch it's still early though it's 12 42 so i'm about to have lunch and y'all it's basic but that's okay because i think dinner is going to be lit but it's just a basic caesar salad um with some caesar dressing and i think i'm gonna add a pack of tuna on top so yeah this is lunch really boring really basic and i know y'all like girl a salad but this is a day in the life like what i eat in a day and y'all know i love salad like i literally eat salad at least once a day and i have been um, since quarantine started just because it's good but I have to go ahead and use this because the salad was getting kind of bad so that's why I'm eating this for lunch but I end up finding a rutabaga so I am going to use this rutabaga or is this a turnip 
what is this? I think it's a rutabaga. I'm gonna use this rutabaga to try to make some rutabaga fries. So yeah, we're gonna have chicken strip and fries later. So yeah, just keep on watching. If I eat something else after this salad, y'all already know I'ma show y'all. I'm gonna put some water in here and enjoy my lunch. So see y'all after a while. All right guys, so it's a little bit later in the day and I thought we could go ahead and start prepping dinner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the skin off of this rutabaga y'all i watched so many videos on rutabaga fries and basically you can make these fries like um with a turnip or you know whatever other root vegetable you can find um i know they said that this was the hard part but i would have preferred to find a jamaica but since i couldn't find it and i didn't want to go to like an international store i'm just gonna settle for this so basically i'm just going to use this little um shredder thing and take all the skin off and this is actually really hard to do because this skin is like really waxy and tough um and it feels so hard so i know i'm gonna have a hard time cutting it but for now i'm just gonna take all the skin off like this really hurts um but yeah i'm just feeling chicken chicken tenders and chicken nuggets and fries period so yeah you just get your turnip your rutabaga your jamaica whatever you get that and then you take the skin off because you don't want to eat that waxy part because that is disgusting so i'm going to go ahead and just keep on taking the skin off and exposing the meat once i do that i'm going to cut it into fry like pieces and then I'll be back to show you guys. so here is the rutabaga all cut up and they look very similar to potatoes i tried to make them all relatively the same size so i kind of got like this little shape going on just i don't know they're all shaped really weird so basically what i'm gonna do is go ahead and start i wash them and everything so now i'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to them and i'm just gonna drizzle that over it just enough to coat them all when I shake it up. So I drizzled some extra virgin olive oil and then I'm gonna go in with my seasonings. Y'all can season to taste. So I'm gonna season them with some garlic powder. I love garlic. I'm gonna season them with some onion powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika I'm gonna use a little bit of season all, just a little bit. Cause I want them to be seasoned, like seasoned fries. And then last but not least, I think I'm gonna hit them with a little garlic, a little garlic pepper. Just a little bit like. Okay. I want these to be seasoned, boo. When I say season, I want these to be seasoned. So I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of oil cause these are gonna go straight into the oven when I get ready to cook and kind of shake them. So now that 
they look really seasoned. They look like seasoned fries. Um, uh, they smell really, really, really good. So this is how they came out. Looking real seasoned, looking real good. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoning because like I said, I want them to be bomb and a little bit more oil. And I'm gonna transfer them into a bag. I'm gonna transfer them into a couple Ziploc bags because I'm not gonna cook all these tonight. So I'm just gonna transfer them into a Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna put some in a bag in case I wanna cook some tomorrow or another day. And then I'm gonna drop a couple more back in here to fry, to bake up tonight. So I'm gonna bake this many, cause it's just me. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Maybe tomorrow I'll do like a burger and fries. So I'm gonna close that, put that off to the side. Um, I'm really just going to cover these up until later, until I'm ready to cook them. Um, again, I already showed y'all the chicken, but this is what I am going to fry the chicken tenders in. And it is the Isa Pure Whey protein that I got off of Amazon. And this is what it looks like, just basically unflavored protein powder. So once it's time to like cook and everything, I'll be back. But I kind of want to show y'all the process of me making french fries. If y'all are excited about this, let me know in the comments. If y'all are going to try this or have, let me know in the comments as well. Um, y'all, I'm super excited to try this. Um, they smell really good. They smell like french fries. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to probably toss them in the refrigerator and let them chill while I clean up. I'll be back whenever I start cooking. Hey gang, so it's a little bit later and I'm about to start making the french fries because they take a little while to cook. I was actually looking for some tongs so that I can pick these out. Oh, here we go. So yeah, you wanna use tongs to pick these out and place them on a cookie sheet because you don't want all that excess juice to go on a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna just get some of these out of here, making sure that I am kind of tapping them so I don't get excess um, juice. So I'm just gonna place enough on a cookie sheet and spread them out because I want them to cook evenly. I'm just spreading them all out. I'm preheating the oven to 425 and they're gonna cook for 40 minutes. So while they're cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and like shower and like settle down for the evening. That way when they're almost done, I'll just come back and fry up my chicken nuggets. My chicken nuggets shouldn't take that long, but y'all these look and smell just like french fries so i'm super excited um i don't want to make too many but i want to make enough so this is what i had set aside but obviously i'm not going to use all these um the ones that i don't use i'm just going to add them to that bag from earlier to cook for another time but yeah this is how they look and again i'm just placing them on the cookie sheet I think this is enough for just me. It's actually probably too much, but we'll see. So, yeah, I'm going to let the oven preheat, take my shower, pop these in, and we'll be back to fry the chicken. We'll be back. So, um, it's time to go ahead and finish cooking. Y'all, just look at these fries. So, this is what the fries are looking like. I'm just leaving them in there for a little bit longer, but they definitely are crispy. Um, I tasted one. They have more of like a little sweet taste. So if you like sweet potatoes or sweet potato fries, you probably would really like them. I'm not a fan of sweet potato fries, but um, they taste pretty good. And I'm sure when I dip them in my sugar-free ketchup and my barbecue, they're going to be on point. So yeah, I'm just heating up my grease to fry the chicken. I have some of this Isa Pure 
um, protein powder in a bowl. So um, I got this recipe from C My Keto on Instagram and I will leave her information in the description box below. But what she does is she coats, um, she seasons her chicken up and I didn't show y'all that cause you season it how you like. And then she coats it with mustard. She dips it in the protein powder and then she fries it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm just testing the grease to see if it's hot. And yeah, I'll be back whenever I drop a couple in and then whenever I make my plate. I'm excited. Y'all, I just made french fries. <laughs> Y'all, so I, I'm, I can't even talk. So I put the chicken in and it's frying. And as you can see, I let it sit for a second um, on this side. So this side, look how golden brown it is. Y'all, I'm shook. I am shook. So I'm going ahead and letting it cook. And like I said, um, I seasoned the chicken and um, I coated it with the yellow mustard. After I did that, I dipped it in the protein powder and now I'm frying it. So yeah, we're gonna just go ahead, uh -oh, turn this over, turn that over. Y'all, I'm shook. This kind of a big weird one. So yeah, I just turned it over and I'm gonna just let that fry up. Okay, so I turned the chicken around again and as you can see, it's getting really golden brown, which is a freaking amazing. Y'all, I'm hoping it tastes good. I'm hoping I seasoned it enough, which I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let this chicken just keep on cooking. I just wanted to come back and show you guys after I flipped it. Okay. Okay. Let me get this. Y'all, this is how the fried chicken came out. When I say it's crispy, y'all hear that crunch? <gasps> y'all, we may have something here. So yeah, guys, this is how the chicken came out. I'm so proud of it, y'all. I took a bite out of one. Um, I hid it because I was taking pictures. But where's the one I took a piece of? Y'all, I took a piece of one. The chicken, where'd it go? The chicken is so white. It's just so well done, guys. Y'all hear this? I'm so excited. Oh, here it is. So here's the inside. The chicken is golden brown. Um, I seasoned it so it's flavored to perfection. The meat inside is well done. It's cooked to perfection and white, y'all. This, so I'm thinking I can do the same thing with pork chops, y'all. But anyway, so yeah, this is what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate so I can eat while everything is hot. And I'll be back to show you guys what it all looks like on the plate. So this is everything. Um, I just have like some chicken right here. It may look like a lot, but a lot of them are like just little bitty pieces, like little bitty nuggets. This one is long, but it looks, it's just like two chicken nuggets. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat it all, but I might. Um, and then I just have a couple fries. Um, the fries are good, but they're not my favorite only because they're sweeter and I don't really like sweet potatoes. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna eat the chicken and a couple of these. Then I have some sugar-free ketchup and some sugar-free um, barbecue sauce y'all know my g hughes not some sugar-free ketchup and then i'm gonna have this strawberry um clear american so bon appetit y'all this may be the best thing i ever cooked a keto this may be the best keto thing i've ever cooked in my life and this may be the best keto thing i've ever tasted in my life period this keto fried chicken y'all better try it i'll leave the protein powder in the description box below so y'all can go buy it hi guys so my food was freaking bomb it's like 7.30 now, so before 8 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and have some of this Simple Truth Keto French Ice Cream and the flavor Coffee Chip. Y'all know I love Coffee Chip Ice Cream, but I usually get Rebel, and for some reason, I cannot find that flavor in Rebel. So shout out to, um, I think her name on here is, it's just Curls. 
Um, she told me about this brand. Again, it's from Kroger. The whole pint has eight grams of carbs, which is pretty cool. But this is what it looks like. I already took a bite. Y'all, it tastes so similar to Rebel. And I think it was like four bucks. So if you can't find Rebel and you guys have Kroger, then go ahead and try this one. But yeah, I'm going to have like a couple spoonfuls of this. I'm going to kick back, finish watching my Lifetime movie. But y'all, we had such a great day of eating. Like I was so excited about keto foods today. So yeah, if you guys really like this video and you guys want to see me do like more like frying and cooking and getting getting to it, then let me know down below. So yeah, go ahead and leave hmm the little smoothie on the screen. I'm gonna find something that looks like a smoothie. So go ahead and leave that on the screen because that's the first thing we ate and I think we left chicken yesterday. So yeah, leave the smoothie on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy, enjoy this because it is bomb. Like, highly recommend. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Reporting live from the internet. Signing out. Back to you, world. Deuces.